Hi, welcome to another of our tutorial episode. Today, I'll show you how to turn this cozy room into this. An even cozier room with rain effect. Before we start, please hit the like and subscribe button. Hi, I'm Mike. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through how to edit the cozy room by the harbour in Adobe Photoshop. First, open a new layer. Use the fill color tool and fill in blue color. Use the rectangular marquee tool to cut out a square or rectangular, it doesn't matter which because we will need to readjust it later. Pull the square onto the cozy room image. Now, we have three windows to cover, so duplicate the blue square into three. Position the blue square onto the first window, go to edit, transform, we will use the distort tool to shape the blue square to the first window. Remember, you have to cover them completely and nicely. Now do the same for the remaining window. It's good to cultivate the habit of saving your work in the middle in case your machine crash, which happened to me before. Now, to finalize those tricky edges, what I usually do is highlight the image layer, use the marquee tool again, and cut out the section we need to do the precision process. Layer via copy, bring it to the top. Now zoom in to erase off the edges. Check all the edges is perfectly aligned, if they are not, you still can fine tune them. Once everything is done, I will flatten all the layer, turning the image into JPEG. I will flip the image horizontally, just something I do, nothing of important. And you can add things in if you wishes to. Um, here I would like to add my YouTube video onto the TV screen and this is how I do it. Open the image you wish to insert, pull the image into your room image, use the ed edit transform the stop tool and shape the image onto the TV screen.
and the image room is now fully done. Save your image, we can head back into Filmora. Now this is part 2. Open your room image, scenery video and raindrop video. I will release all this video one at a time. They are royalty free stock footage that you may use for your project. You can mix and match to whatever suits you. Align each into their own track. Image at the top, raindrop below and lastly the scenery video at the bottom. You cannot do this any other way as you will see later on. Adjust the image size following your project. Mine is 3840 times 2160. Highlight the image, go to AI tool, click chroma and use the eyedropper to match the blue color. Now highlight the raindrop. Adjust the size of the video to match the window sections. Unlock the scale lock position so you have more flexibility. I do this way because I dislike watching rain drop the size of a basketball. By reducing the size, it makes your video slightly more realistic. Now add in the same raindrop video onto the track and do the same for the next window sections. If you are a picky person, you can do each video for each window making it even more realistic. Now when you are satisfied with your raindrop, you can go to the AI sections, chroma key, eye drop the black background and we are into the last part, the scenery part. First thing I will do for rain video usually is color correct it to a bluish tone. Blue represents cold and there's a feeling that we get when it rains. You can play around the highlight and shadow to your liking. There's no right or wrong, just how you want your work to be, that's all. The original scenery video is indeed raining. But it is so fine you can't really see the raindrop, so we need to dramatize it a little. How do we do it? By using the Filmora rain effect. Now go to effect and search for rain effect. Pick the rain you like. Add it to below the image. If you put it above the image, your whole entire room will be raining. Adjust the rain opacity to your liking. You can either make it heavier or lighter. Now the last part, the image part. To make the room a little cozier, we need to darken it and set the temperature cooler by, yes, adding a bluish tone to it. Adjust this to your own taste. Now we are all done. A room so cozy I really feel like sleeping there right now. Trim your video and save your book. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't done so, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.